Hey everyone, this is Flub here, and today I've accomplished what I once thought was impossible, beating Old Cataclysm. I've seen this level since it first came out, I remember it back all the way back then. And ever since I saw it, I always wanted to try and beat it. Obviously I never could because it was just impossible basically. But about half a year ago, a year, or actually a year and a half ago, I stopped playing the game mostly and I took like an enormous break. And over the last week though, seeing how the Geometrash video I uploaded did, I sort of wanted to get back into the game just a little bit, sort of to revive my channel, I guess. And I decided to practice this level for a little bit, and I, <laughs> I, at one point I just decided to try and beat it. I don't know what witchcraft or wizardry happened, but I was insanely consistent, and I eventually just completely destroyed it. So without further ado, here is the gameplay. Alright guys, before we get into this actually, I'm going to be going through this in practice mode. EVW style, just like Eric does, so. Um, basically the purpose of this, I'm gonna go through the level in practice mode, show you guys like my tips of beating it if you have any tips of your own, stuff like that, so. The start, you know, start simple. If you can't get the start down, then I would not suggest going through this level. So, this part, okay, so the wave is where it gets difficult. This is the first very difficult part of the level. So right here, really? <laughs> My tip for this, like, there's no, like, secret hack or anything to get through this. No secret way. Secret verify glitch. No, you just have to, like, legit this part, set a checkpoint here, and just practice, practice, practice. So practice the timing. Because once you get used to this, like, you'll have a good time to get it down, like... Like, I just do, like, the same button placements. Like, right now, I'm just being stupid, but... Normally, it's just, like, the same button placements. Like, if you see all my recordings of, like, when I get to the wave part, they all look pretty much the same. But, just practice this. Just practice the heck out of it, and it'll be a whole lot easier once you get used to it. So then, now we're at the ship. This part, this is tough. I, I die all the time here. So the thing about this part is, don't like, tap a ton. So what you want to do is just, I don't know if you can hear my thing, you probably can't, but it's just, just stabilize yourself. And it's pretty easy until you get right to the last portal. Right there, what, you, what I've learned to do is once you get to this last portal, you sort of just tap once to get up a little bit, and then try to stabilize yourself. So tap, oh, I was being dumb there, alright. Tap, and then stabilize, so then that's pretty easy. So, okay, the next part, I kind of accidentally zoomed through that. So this is just a wave, same as the beginning, just practice it. No real tips, just... Just pra <laughs> practice. Now this ball part, honestly, I think this is one of the hardest parts of the entire level. <laughs> I know that's probably weird, but this part is just so... It's just so weird, like... It's just its just annoying. If, if anyone plays this level, you, you'll realize it. It's just... It takes a whole lot of practice. It's just like the, the blue and red, yellow orb right there. Those sometimes they just mess up. Then this part is just timing. Pretty easy to get used to. Very easy, actually, to get used to. I didn't die here many times, so... Alright, now we're at the UFO, so it's just... Here are the taps that I do. Tap, 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 tap. So if you need me to go in slow motion, feel free to turn in slow motion, but here's what I do. So I'll just say it again. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and then you do two taps there, so it's... It's just practice. Like, it's very, very easy to get used to. I think I- I don't know if I died here once. I think I died here one time, and it was because I, like, didn't even do anything. In the actual level. So now, the ship part is where the skill really, really comes in. So I was incredibly lucky, and I only died here, like, once or twice. <laughs> it's- it's, in, it's insane. Actually, maybe I didn't even die once here. I don't know, but this part is pretty hard. It's really just straight fly, like, just having to get used to this straight fly. That's all it really is, just straight fly. If you have 144 hertz, it should be pretty easy. This part is weird. This part is super weird. So I died at that jump a lot of times, but what you need to do... So you don't even touch the yellow orb, so when you jump, you just hold. So it's literally just hold, and then there's like an invisible block there that you jump off of. And then obviously you have to tap the purple orb and stuff, so it goes... And really, this part takes some timing, but it's pretty easy to get used to. It's really not not a big deal. Just some more memorization stuff. Simple. 
Now this part is one of the easiest of the entire level. I died here like once. Actually, no, I don't think I died here at all. So right here, something weird happens. So if, if you're on 144 hertz, it sort of stabilizes you out. So it's yeah, it really just stabilizes yourself. So you can just tap into it like that. But on like 60 hertz, instead of stabilizing yourself like this, you just go straight down. So it's a really weird difference. It's definitely something to get used to if you're not on 144. So a tip that I do here is just not, don't try to like spam sure if I don't try to go like crazy. Just try to just tap, but be like consistent with it. All right, and then right here, a lot of this is just, this is just simple straight fly. Pretty, pretty easy stuff. Now the end, <laughs> this is where the stress really comes in. You're, right at the end, just some pretty easy wave all the way to the end, boom. And now once you get here, if you die past this part, that'd be rough. All right, so I'd suggest doing the one by Nexus or my Blast CFB. So, pretty cool. All right, now let's get back into my gameplay. Oof. After that happened, since you could hear the fan in the background and just other noises in general, I decided to keep the mic off and just run game audio. So that's why if you don't hear anything except for the game audio, that's why I just completely turned off my mic because I didn't want there to just be weird noises in the background. So, all right. I don't believe it. <laughs> so, so I pause it right at the end. Uh, wow. So I have my mic. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Oh. I beat it so I just turned on the mic. Oh. You wanna say anything? This is going on YouTube. I don't know if it's uh. I have a shirt on. Hey boys. <laughs> and look girls. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, sick. Cool. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Big, big, big thanks to everyone who stuck around and watched all the way until this point. I appreciate you guys. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry my reaction wasn't super crazy or anything. Um, I just didn't even have a reaction. I was just playing and that happened and I was just kind of like, all right, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. But no like screaming reaction. I didn't play enough for me to scream and react. That's the, <laughs> that's the thing. The reason I didn't have a crazy reaction was because I'd only been playing that level for maybe an hour. No, it wasn't even an hour. Way less. But that's really it. So big thanks to you guys for watching this video. 
uh, leave a comment below tell me what some stuff you want me to do in the future for some videos and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you subscribe all right peace